Wenzel, uh, you've obviously had a lot of great success in the sport of wrestling. Are there one individual or several individuals that come to mind that helped uh, shape your love for the sport and spur you on to the amount of success that you had? I would think it was Mr. John Drummond. He was an official in uh, Henry Wittenberg also. Those were outstanding in, in my wrestling career, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you have any idols growing up, people you looked to, uh, up to in the sport? Uh... Well, there again, I'd say Henry Wittenberg, I look up to always uh, as a, not just a top-notch wrestler, but a very, very good friend. Mm -hmm. uh, Dale Thomas was the same way, very good, uh, looked up to him also. Mm -hmm. What got you started in the sport of wrestling? I came from Yugoslavia, in which we didn't have much of a sporting equipment or anything like that. So we wrestled on sand, and it was just our entertainment. Mm -hmm. of, and that's got me started into wrestling. Uh, it was kind of like a swinging type of wrestling, and uh, or sumo type wrestling. Mm -hmm. But then when I came to the United States, I started the real wrestling, the freestyle and the Greco. And what aspect of your personality or even athletic ability enabled you to have the level of success that you had in wrestling? I would say uh, you probably, uh, it gives you self-confidence and uh, you get to be a better person all the way around, it seems like in wrestling, you know, it's, uh, it's just uh, comes natural, a wrestling is a leader, you know, and mm -hmm. that's it. And what are some of the greatest memories, or maybe the one greatest moment that you've had in, in the sport? Uh, the greatest moment in the sport is when you are on the podium and you receive your award, and they play the national anthem. That's uh, it gets your heart pumping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that your greatest moment? That's that's <laughs> I would say is the greatest moment. You know. Yeah. Uh, is there one match that stands out in your mind when you've wrestled certain opponents that was like your greatest victory or it could even be, you know, a loss that uh, affected you the most? I would say it, wrestling Don Hodge, Dan Hodge uh, was the uh, greatest uh, experience for me. Uh, in the 56 Olympics, we went in a round robin and uh, he pinned Smith pinned Don Hodge, I beat Smith, and be Hodge beat me. Uh, that was an outstanding moment for me. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it, it's great. Yeah. If you had it to do over again and you were to start your wrestling career over, I, I know it's been a while since you, you've wrestled. Would you do anything differently? I don't think so. Uh, no. Uh, more than likely to do the same thing. Even mm -hmm. if you're hurt, you know, you don't, you don't feel it. You feel it later on in the years. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't change anything, no. Mm. That's good. Uh, what would you like people to remember about uh, Wenzel Hubel? I would probably uh, remember me as uh, being a good person, uh, not being a bully or uh, uh, just plain myself a good person. Mm -hmm. And wrestling makes a good person out of a, a man or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I believe that. And you certainly accomplished that part. Yes. So congratulations once again on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. That's well-deserved. Thank, Thank you for your time, Winslow. Thank you.